The headline reads, small cars aren't as safe as you think. Did you really think small cars were safe? So crash tests of five new small cars by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety uh, reveals that small sedans don't provide good protection for their rear seat passengers during a moderate overlap front crash. Those findings might prove surprising given that the five small cars garner high ratings for the good protection they offer those in the front seat. For those in the rear seat, the tests reveal a very different story, which is cause for concern. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested five of the best-selling small sedans in America, and they are Honda Civic, Kia Forte, Nissan Sentra, Subaru Crosstrek, and the Toyota Corolla. None of those vehicles tested came back with a good rating. Uh, the best of the bunch were the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla, which earned an acceptable rating, and it gets worse. The Forte, Sentra, Crosstrek, all rated poor. Quote, these results highlight one of the key reasons that we updated our moderate overlap front crash test. This is from the president of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, David Harkey. He goes on to say, quote, in all the small cars we tested, the rear dummy submarined under the seatbelt, causing the lap belt to ride up onto the abdomen and increasing the risk of internal injuries, end quote. A little deeper now in the details, both the Honda and the Toyota provide, quote, good protection for rear seat passengers for the head, neck, chest, and thigh during collision, but the passenger restraints and connects were rated poor as they were for all five sedans. The Forte, Sentra, Crosstrek also provided good thigh protection. In general, the back seats for the Civic and Corolla provided acceptable protection. Is that acceptable to you? The rear dummy's heads in the Corolla came close to hitting the front seat back, raising the possibility of a head injury. The Forte and Sentra delivered poor head and neck protection and marginal thigh protection. The Crosstrek returned marginal head and neck protection and poor chest protection. And this led to a moderate to high risk of head, neck, and chest injuries as evident in the rear seat dummy. A little more on the test requirements for a vehicle to be rated good. The rear seat dummy must remain in the correct seating position during the collision without sliding forward beneath that lap belt. Its head must remain safely away from the front seat back and the rest of the interior. A torso mounted pressure sensor checks whether the shoulder belt is too high which can minimize the restraint's effectiveness. This is in addition to other requirements for the structure to remain intact and minimize the risk of injury. Now, these results don't mean that parents should be putting their kids in the front seat to avoid the potential dangers in the back seats because in the front seats, the airbags can cause significant injuries to young children. So continue putting them in the back seat, but be aware of these recent test results on these five small vehicles. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.